Mito ya Nairobi na Athi inaendelea kuchafuliwa kila uchao na wakazi wa na, na kazi na makampuni yaliyoko kando kando mwa mito hiyo licha ya mipango ya serikali kuisafisha na kuihifadhi. Na mwanarakati wa mazingira unasema hali inazidi kuwa mbaya. Leo katika makala maalum Garbage Rivers katika taarifa zetu za saa 3 wana habari Enoxicolia tutueleza mbona imekuwa vigumu kwa serikali kusafisha mito hii. Lakini kwa sasa tupate kionjo tu. Sumu, sumu, poison kisungu. The diseases, the money we are wasting in hospitals, is just because we have caused the problem. Jagula jangu ni zamaki, lakini imekosa sababu imefungua. Sabule ya kiabu. Sasa wewe ukiangalia maji unaona nini? Ukiangalia kwa macho. Ni kiabu, lakini wakati ule Samaki ikiwa sini unatoa ndoano unapeleka pole pole unaweka katikati. Na unatoa? Eh? Mwanzo samaki zenye zimebakia ni ndogo tu. Ni ndogo tu. Sio wakati kuna wakati zilikuwa mingi lakini nawa zilipotea. Wakati wa kitambo tulikuwa tunakunywa hii maji. Lakini sasa hatuwezi tukaikunywa. Mwanzo ni chafu. Sasa watu wakunywe. Eh. Ilikuwa watu wanaoga maji ilikuwa safi watu wanafua. Lakini sasa hii unaweza fua? Uwezi fua? Mtu inabeba vitu mingi sana hii. Yeah. Mtu inabeba hadi maiti zipita hapa. Mtu amemwilia mtu unapata kai meja. Na kumwilia mtu inapita unaona tu ikienda. Yaani mbeba uchafu mwingi. Tu hadi bado watoto wadogo leo wamebutiwa. Like chromium for example. That's a heavy metal. It kills. It brings issues like cancer this river connects downstream to other river this is a major source of water in the downstream communities not even outside Nairobi you go in Chiru those other parts people are using that to to irrigate their crops so what does that mean Now people able to discharge onto the river without this, these people seeing. It is not possible. It is like hiding an elephant in your bedroom.